So where do our colleagues in the Senate stand? They refused to put forward their own plan. Last week, Senate Majority Leader Reid said the Democrats um, don't need a budget. Quote, there's no need to have a Democratic budget, in my opinion, close quote. He said it would be foolish to present one. Well, the only thing that's foolish is violating the Congressional Budget Act in such a cynical attempt for political gain. The decision not to produce a budget is not a decision based on what's best for our country, but based, as you could see from the quotes of, of the staffers and actually Senator Reid's own quote, it was designed for political advantage. What a cynical ploy. Think about it. Senator Reid said, well, we're going to bring up the House budget and we're going to vote on it. And every member of his caucus, I'm sure he's already counted the heads, will vote no and it has no chance of passage. What good is that? The Senate has a statutory duty under the Budget Act to produce a budget. We've not even attempted to produce a budget. Well, I look forward to the chance to support the House budget. I look forward to casting a vote which says we will be getting our spending under control, that we will deal honestly with our budget challenges, short and long term. I look forward to voting for a budget that creates jobs, makes us more competitive, and deals honestly with the debt threats that we have. But let's look at the bigger picture this week. The planned series of votes are designed by the majority leader to fail, of course. Designed as a gimmick to distract attention from the Senate's failure to produce an honest plan. They're designed to keep this Senate from doing its job, really, and defending uh, 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 this republic from grave financial danger. So I, therefore, will not provide unanimous consent for any prearranged package of vote, votes doomed to fail, intended to fail. Anyone can call up these budget votes consistent with the rules anytime they wish, but a package deal that wastes the Senate's time I cannot and will not support. The majority leader is wasting the American people's time. I am here to speak honestly and just tell the truth about that. That's the plain fact. It's a political gimmick that's going on. And further, I will not agree to unanimous consent on any motion to adjourn for the Memorial Day recess. If we're going to close down this chamber for another week without having produced a budget, without having even scheduled a committee hearing, then I'm, not going, then I'm going to require that we have a vote on it. Let's vote to go home, not having done the people's business. So my message to the majority of leaders is simple. If you object to the House GOP plan or to other Republican plans, then you must come forward with your own honest plan to prevent financial catastrophe and create a more prosperous future.